Excel is a great tool for looking at data, analyzing your reports and things like that from Amazon, but it can often mess up the formatting of numeric fields and text fields. So I want to show you here just how you can format them. It should give you some ideas of how you can change your Excel formatting in the worksheet itself so that it displays the data correctly. So I've created a CSV file with some numbers in. And if you try and import that data, just using the data tab, say from text file, you can see example. And I'll just say finish. By default, it formats the number like this. That's not what I want. In the case where you actually want to see the full number, the full text, then you need to tell Excel to format the column that it displays the data in differently. And you can do that by either going to home and setting the field as text. But you'll notice that one thing it does, even though it's displaying the number correctly up here in the format entry field, whatever it's called, um, it's not displaying it correctly. Let me do that again here. It's not displaying it correctly um, as soon as you set that formatting. What you have to do is actually go in, edit the field, press enter, and then it displays it correctly. But that's not great as it's not ideal for what we want. If your number has a set number of um, characters, let's say you're dealing with a UPC code, for example, then you can come in and say, let's have a format cell. You can say custom and the UPC code may be, um, what is it, 11 characters, 12 characters long, something like that. EAN in Europe, that's where I'm from. That's 13 characters. So you could come in here, choose custom and choose 13 zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. Click OK and it formats it. Now, if my number doesn't have 13, choosing that special formatting, it actually sticks leading zeros on the end or on the beginning, should I say, and actually gives you 13 characters. But that still might not be what you want. You might just want to import all your data and have a display like this. So what you need to do in that case is go to data. And when you import it, let me import it into a new column here. Say from text file, here's that example again. And I'll say delimited and say comma, tab, whatever you want to set it as. Choose next, but instead of clicking finish, tell Excel that this field is a text field. When you do that, press OK. It brings it in in the correct formatting. And that's probably what you want. Um, if you save this spreadsheet, you know, you've got all your formatting on and things like that, produce a new report from Amazon and want to bring the data in, then as long as you're sort of in the worksheet, you haven't changed the data much, you can just come up here, click refresh, say, here's my new report, import, and it's going to remember the formatting of that field and pop it in there every time you refresh that data.